The LEGO Brick Separator is quite a nifty tool for LEGO fans. Well, even for non-LEGO fans. But even more, it has a quite a unique history. So it first came out in 1990, and it was only in these two models, one in gray and one in dark green. The dark green being very hard to come by. Uh, and then after 20 years, we finally started seeing our present day brick separators which came in orange green and now this teal blue and of course we got that big one in the art sets which comes in black you can actually purchase these on the lego website for two dollars and fifty cents which is pretty interesting but today's video is going to focus on mocks with the common brick separator i took a dive into so many different pictures so all of these pictures guys are not my own i did try to give credit uh, on every one that i did find but without further ado let's go ahead and jump straight on into it because we have a lot of awesome uses of the standard brick separator used into mocks mccoy mv created this awesome mock using the brick separator in orange to use fingers essentially and uh in in a hand model which i thought was very awesome even the cone as a thumb was really good uh but this one's called gotta catch them all i thought it was very interesting and i i really loved how the aspect of it I found another creator called Allison Gale Lego. Uh, she created a literally just a mix up of brick separators to create the planet Earth. I thought this was so cool. Uh, she also had so many other ones that I just I couldn't go through all of them, but I wanted to pick her best ones that I thought uh, like this flamingo with the very large green ones. I thought that was good for like its feathers. Uh, and then this one like a bird inside of a flower with her minifig. It just, it, I love seeing creators get so creative with this and it inspires me to make my own mocks uh, using the standard brick separator. But uh, I really want to throw this out there, guys. If you're enjoying today's video, it is a different approach and I would love and encourage your feedback. And of course, if you are new, kindly ask that you hit that subscribe button as we make our journey to 10K subscribers. But again, back to our video. This creator gave me some nostalgia bringing in a Bionicle. Uh, but in this case, he used the brick separator as like a armor pad for a shoulder pad uh for the bionicle this is incredible i love that you know they, they did keep it in orange they kept the color scheme going uh, and i thought that fit so so well and bionicle is such a great theme a strong community so uh this this mock here i think brings out the best of the actual brick separator and speaking of great themes uh it's always awesome to see a star wars one uh this one in orange is the tie separator absolutely magnificent uh mock in my opinion and this creator's name is venom uh and just found this on Flickr. what an awesome mock this is i would love to recreate this in a different world but uh the other thing i did find was on rebrickable there was so many different and unique buildings uh, like there's just so many but they use different ways to use the brick separator and implement them i thought the facade of the building uh, on this one right here i believe this was brick artisan uh that used it in his mock but oh my gosh they use the teal one as well to like compensate uh different brick colors uh, for a building it's so interesting to see a building used from brick separators and uh, i would love to have this in my lego city just because of like the sheer like history of the lego brick separator again seeing the facade use of the brick separator you could go on rebrickable and there is just a ton of models that kind of used it they're all kind of different there's some you know better there's some are that are worse uh this was another great example it kind of reminds me of the uh bookshop how the third floor is kind of like at an angle i love to use they flip that brick separator around and kind of Gave it that angle that you can't really create from Lego. Uh, I think that's just such a great application to design a set around. So kudos to the creator here because that's big brain thinking. Uh, now, the other one that I found that I stumbled across uh, is probably a little bit more popular. It's in the use and the application of a train station or even used as a bus station. The, this model alone, I believe, can be used as a bus station and train station. Uh, but it's for the roof design. It's pretty simple, right? All they really did was just essentially a stack the brick separator on top of like studs uh that's kind of straight but it looks so clean and so so good uh in my eye i don't know if you recall but there is a little like technic pin on top of the brick separator uh so the creator actually used some technic like ties uh to kind of lock in these separators which i thought was a even great greater part usage because i uh, just don't see someone use this as like a technic part uh very often so something interesting and finally, here's the bus stop uh, picture provided by Dark Horse Zero Zero, who was the creator. Uh, but on to uh, some other builds, guys, uh, like this one right here, where it's just a giant brick build separator. I know this is not a brick separator, but I had to throw it in just because of how unique what it was. Um, but anyways, here is a dragonfly uh, with literally almost the, the tail, the wings, and uh, 
all made from brick separators, which was really cool. And I thought I got the point across. Uh, this one, I think, was even probably one of my all-time favorites, uh, the Squid with all of his, like, ink pads being the brick separator. Again, very great application. Uh, here's another example of using as a roof for an application from the brick separator, this one in teal, and they are actually upside down, uh, which I thought was very interesting and a very good usage. Uh, this one is extremely, extremely talented in my eyes. It's a use of a uh, building, right, but in the micro scale. So they established a micro scale skyscraper using brick separators. I mean, come on, uh, the originality here is quite extravagant, right? Uh, and then here is a duck use of beaks uh, just as two brick separators to create a beak. Again, the angles of the brick separator make it really look so lifelike in my eyes. Uh, a pterodactyl, again, we don't, I mean, we know what a pterodactyl bones look like, but I think that justifies on how a pterodactyl should look, right? Uh, another great example. Uh, this one I thought was quite interesting. They used it as kind of like uh, as a probe type. Uh, very interesting build. I thought it was very good, clean, uh, different application use. Uh, one for weapons, uh, a plazer. I thought this was pretty sweet. Definitely different, unique. Again, you use those finger applications quite often, but uh, to see some of these different builds, I think really brings up uh, some skill. I uh, like the submarine here, using it as the exterior. Gives it some shape, gives it some depth. Uh, using as a cockatoo, this one is kind of funny in my eyes. A cockatoo he just kind of looks funny, uh, but his hair is spikes on top. It kind of reminds me of a little chicken, but here is a wreath using the green, bigger brick separators from 1990. Uh, establishes a wreath shape quite well. Uh, interesting build. And then a caught gun using the angle from the brick separator really creates it kind of like you're squeezing it out. Another great use and a great application. Very interesting technique I saw here was a silo that used uh, the brick separator in a horizontal application. I thought this really did a good job of kind of being creative. Uh, another one is the dump truck using it as a micro scale dump truck bed. Uh, it, it's perfect. It literally just fits perfect. Uh, now, this is one I thought was quite interesting is a flower. Uh, I, be, I feel like creators can probably essentially create a ton of different flowers using it. I think it's probably one of the more easier and standard ways to use an application brick separator in a mock, just because like the possibilities of making a flower, like the leaf petals out of it. Uh, but here's another creative one, making a scooter as like the riding deck on a scooter. What a great way. I love this mock. I think it was so, such a great part usage. Uh, the drawbridge on a bridge. Oh my God, come on. Again, it's using the micro scale techniques, but I think the micro scale just it makes it look so good. Uh, then of course, I'm going to have to end this video off uh, on some Star Wars ones because who doesn't love a good X-Wing with the wings as a brick separator? That's awesome. Uh, this one is more of a meme. It's a giant brick separator in the Star Wars verse. This was incredible. What a mock. Uh, I can't imagine the hours spent on that. Uh, then lastly, guys, if you love the brick separator, here's a laugh here. Uh, had to find this on a t-shirt just for you guys, but it equals mass destruction. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, let me know in the comments below. Be sure to give me a thumbs up. And as always, guys, my name is Christo. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Stud City, out.